Today, I'm going to show you the different land categories and their values that you can see when you receive your free property report from Landgate. Whether you're a property owner, investor, or just curious about how land is valued, this video will break everything down you need to know. So first, I'm going to select a random property so we can look at the land details. So I'll just zoom in on a random place on the map and click on a random property. And then I'm going to click land within the value index. And as the data loads onto the map, you can see on the side panel that there's a breakdown of land categories an estimated value total and per acre, and also the total amount of acres within that parcel. So within the land categories, you can see that there is cropland present, woodland present, and also pasture land present. With our cropland, woodland, pasture land, and also developed land values, it's all based on the land itself. So the soil, the water irrigation systems, water supply, soil fertility, soil quality, all of those factors are being generated within our value index and within these estimated values as well. To get a little technical and a little bit behind the scenes of what Landgate does in order to provide these index scores is Landgate's data scientists consider many different data sets to determine what proportions of each parcel are associated with certain types of land use. So since different land use types create different values, each parcel has a custom and proprietary value generated on its specific attributes. So our data signs have conditioned the data to assign value specific to each local area. So for instance, pasture land in an arid location would likely receive a lower relative value than pasture land in a traditionally forested or wet location where a higher relative value would be warranted. Because of these types of conditions, we've allowed our experts that use our platform, our real estate professionals, you as a landowner, being a professional on your property as well, knowing the location, the market within your city, county, state, relative to your neighbors, we have allowed you to use this edit values button. When you click on this button, you will see that land values pop up for these different categories. So what you can do is custom input your estimated value for these different options. You can do total value, but you can also do per acre. So to show you what this would look like, if I know, because I am an expert, that the corn value is actually closer to $7,000 per acre. I'm going to add the 7,000 here. And when I hit enter, you can see that that estimated value has been added here. And when I hit save all, you can see that it was adjusted here as well. So let me show you a property that has developed land on it. And developed land can include areas that were altered for human activities. So like residential, commercial, industrial, um, recreational uses. Developed land value is really based on the land. Like I mentioned earlier, not the buildings. Um, we don't take into account those specific details. So let me exit out of this property report. And I'll actually click on the neighbor here. You can see when I zoom in that there is developed land on this parcel. So when I go ahead and click on that and click into the land value, that data is loading onto the screen and you can see that there is 0.4 acres of developed land. Obviously, it is not $868 for those buildings that are on the property. It is just the land that has been used to be developed on. So when you click into it, you can see that we have it split up into open space and mid intensity. And you can see that the gray squares are showing um, the different developed land options there. It is really important to keep in mind that I have mentioned already before that this developed land 
value estimate is not about the buildings. So if you are planning on listing this property on our marketplace, we do recommend that you add to your listing, and you do have this option when you go through our listing process, to include that there is a building on the parcel. Whether it's a farm building or it's a house, we give you the option to add if there's how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, things like that, the square footage. If you have a barn, we recommend that you put that in the description. Obviously, you are in charge of setting your price for your listing, and that is something that you can include in the description for why the property might be listed at the value it is listed for. With Landgate's property reports, we provide these land value estimates across different categories that, like I mentioned before, can be adjusted based on your expert input, considering factors like location, economic conditions, and seasonal changes. So whether you're looking to buy, sell, or simply understand the value of your property, knowing these land categories and their values is important. 